This is Spanish 2, sentences 169 through 172. 169. Our house is close to the school. Nuestra casa está cerca de la escuela. Nuestra casa está cerca de la escuela. 170. Sarah lives far from here. Sara vive lejos de aquí. Sara vive lejos de aquí. 171. Susana and Manuel were talking. Susana y Manuel hablaban. Or, Susana y Manuel estaban hablando. Susana y Manuel hablaban. Or, Susana y Manuel estaban hablando. 172. Erica and I always talked. Erika y yo siempre hablábamos. Erika y yo siempre hablábamos. All right, let's look at the word our, nuestro. Now, Mr. Holt, if two boys were talking, would our turn into nuestros? No. Our is an adjective referring to house, and since house is feminine, nuestro turns into nuestra. If you're saying our books, it'd be nuestros libros. Our friend, who's a boy, nuestro amigo. So again, with the word our, you look at the word that follows it. Now, here's a chant for you for close to and far from. Cerca de is close to and lejos de is far away. Cerca de is close to and lejos de is far away. If you see a picture and it says this picture was taken circa 1920, it means close to 1920. All right. Now, uh, lejos de is far away. Everybody say Legos. Legos. You know the little blocks from Europe. They, they they're called Legos. This little kid, you're you're babysitting. This little kid starts throwing the Legos at your head. So you get tired of it. You grab the Legos. You walk to the window, open the window, and chuck the Legos out. And the kid is horrified. He's like, ah. What would you do with my Legos? And you say, those Legos, they go far away. Everybody, those Legos, they go far away. So, lejos de is far away. Far away is lejos de. Now, if a word ends in aba, abas, aba, abamos, aban, it can be translated two ways. Um, always did something or was doing something. So if you say yo hablaba, it could be translated I always talked, or it could also be translated I was talking. So if I just say Susana y Manuel hablaban, you don't know if it's Susana and Manuel always talked or they were talking. So if you want to stress that they were talking, you can say Susana y Manuel estaban hablando. So if you really want to clarify that it wa they were talking, because this could mean they were talking or they always talked. Truthfully, you don't see this that much. You don't see estaban hablando or yo estaba bailando that much. Now, when you say Erica y yo siempre hablábamos, it could be translated Erica and I always talked or Erica and I were talking. So again, there's a little bit of ambiguity. I want you to notice the only form of ABBA that takes an accent is the we form. Okay. All right. That is Spanish 2, sentences 169 through 172.